And out there in the meetings, I pray for the sick and everything like that. And on the side, say things in a roundabout way that the sheep hear it. They know what it's talking about. Otherwise, it's just a bait on the hook. You see, I show the signs of, of trying to show uh, God knows and discernment and knows the hearts of the people and does these things. That's an evangelistic gift just to stir the people. The first thing you know, a tape drops into their house. That's God at them. If he's a sheep, he comes right with it. If he's a goat, he kicks the tape. <laughs> that's it. That's, and you too is right, man. That, that's exactly right. Ben's had some experience. And, <laughs> all right. Well, that's right. Aren't you glad that you're his? Aren't you glad? And today, one reason that the church is in the condition that it's in is because there is so many voices. So uh, many other voices to attract the church from the voice of God till it's very doubtful that many would hear the voice of God, though it spoke right in their midst. They perhaps wouldn't even understand it because it would be a foreign thing to them. They have got themselves so much centered on the voices of the day. And if we notice in our scripture reading that the voice of God was foreign to them. And it's become that way again today, that the voice of God, there is so many other voices. And then if God promised he would give us that, and if other voices are contrary to the voice of God, then it must be the voice of our enemy to confuse us that we would not understand the voice of God when it spoke. And we noticed it was something similar to that with Eli and with Samuel, but Eli recognized right away that it was God and it was absolutely a, a blaspheme on Eli because the voice of God speaking to Samuel had told him about Eli's wrongdoings. For he had babied his sons. And they had taken money and, and the flesh from the offerings that was not right. And they were doing things wrong, contrary to God's word. 